A federal government report is reviewing ways to combat substance abuse in Indigenous communities, including Townsville. It has a list of recommendations for the government. However, local health workers say family support is the best plan of action. Over the past six months, the Townsville Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Health Service has helped support almost 70 Indigenous children battling volatile substance abuse. Most of them are aged between 13 and 16 years of age, and the majority of them are males. Every day, police on patrol are finding more kids caught up in chroming using products like deodorant. They come across uh, kids that have obviously been chroming or are about to chrome, you know. And again, you, I've got to ask the question is, you know, what's mum and dad's and guardians doing? A new report from the Prime Minister's department investigates volatile substance misuse. It has a list of 10 recommendations, including family support, return to country strategies and residential rehabilitation to try and stop young Indigenous men and women getting caught up with addiction. The Townsville Indigenous Health Service says education and mentoring will play a major part. Education is, uh, is a key uh, in terms of informing um, teenagers about you know the issues and about the problems and about the risks that they're taking. It's an issue councillor Gary Eddiehausen is trying to combat as well. He's prepared a report for the state government recommending legislative changes and dedicated rehab facilities for addicted youth. I see it as a way of getting them psychological and also physical counselling. Um, children that are, that are identified as being at-risk children. There's a million people out there that really care about this. Yeah, but, but what we've got to do is we've got to get the individual to care. We've got to get the individual family to care. Uh, and, and there's got to be a, a, a connection between, between, between police and Centrelink and that sort of thing. Benjamin Stivala, WIN News.